Today we are going to talk about Indian elephants, which are different than African elephants. One quick way to tell is African elephants have much bigger ears to cool themselves off in the hot African heat. So I have this book, A is for Asia, by Cynthia Chin Lee, illustrated by Yumi Hyo. And I just want to show you the page about elephants, although this is a wonderful book explaining different things about Asia. E is for elephants, graceful and imposing, highly respected in India, elephants are still ridden in traditional wedding processions. The groom leads the way riding a richly decorated elephant to the home of his bride where he is greeted with garlands of flowers. How neat. Now this book is called Elephant Dance, A Journey to India. And in this book, the grandfather tells the grandson all different kinds of things about his experiences in life. So I'm gonna to jump to this page. Have you ever seen an elephant, grandfather? Said Anjali. Indeed I have, said grandfather. When I was a child like you and Ravi, I saw elephants walk in a procession on the feast of Diwali. They wore silk hadwas, blue as a royal peacock. Princes rode on their backs. The hot streets teemed with people and everywhere were flowers garlands of sweet jasmine and morning glory, hibiscus blossoms, cream and red and yellow, which we tucked behind our ears. We ate sticky sweets of coconut and almonds and lit fireworks in the street. We heard the chimes of bells and gongs, the beating of many drums. How neat is that? So elephants are very important in India. And in this book called Our World, you can see up here, it says, elephants are often painted and decorated for parades and temple ceremonies. Look how beautiful. The Asian elephant has arch back and smaller ears than the African elephant. All right, so I'm going to draw you an elephant and I'm gonna base it off of this picture that I found here. And I'm gonna show you the steps of how to do this. Now, I have done this before and created a larger one, which I used crayon first and then I watercolored over it. So if you're at home, you can take this further and maybe make a larger one. So I'm gonna start off, and I'm gonna start with this big shape of the head and the trunk, because that gets it, gets my, my first lines, helps me start off the whole picture. I'm using Sharpie so you can see it, but as always, start with pencil so you can erase. So if you notice here, it kind of comes up and comes around, and it looks like a big C, doesn't it? So I'm gonna start right here, and if I kind of trace over first with my hand, I can see how big I wanna go, um, because I'm not drawing the whole elephant. So I'm gonna come up, come down, and if you wanna have the trunk come out, you might wanna leave a little gap here, or draw really lightly with your pencil so that you can erase it wherever that trunk, um, yeah, wherever the um, tusk might come through, not the trunk. So I'm gonna come down, curve up. See how it looks kind of like a C? Then I'm gonna go over for the trunk, curve down, and the trunk is, has a thickness to it. You don't want it to be too thin and come up here. Now I'm gonna work up here next. So I'm just gonna go right off the page for the back. Whoop. Now if you did it a little bit smaller, you might show more of the body and you can put more decorations there. For the ear, I'm gonna make a shape like this, not too, too big. And then I'm gonna have this line come down, 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 a little bit further than the trunk because the trunk wouldn't be lower than the ground and come up for the over for the leg go up and over and off the page now here i can do my tusk so right here i'm gonna come around and you don't have to do a tusk if you don't want to so there's my tusk kind of a rounded shape finish that line if it was pencil it'd be really easy just to go and erase what you don't want and then the little eye. I'm gonna do a little hill, go across, and then make my little eye in the middle just with a circle and a circle. Now is the fun part where you get to add your different patterns and decorations. Now if you were going to paint it like I did, you would do those in crayon and then you could watercolor right over them or you could use color pencil or marker and fill in all of this. But for your little drawing, you wanna add everything in pencil and then color with your materials. So good luck adding all your fun designs and decorations.